Good day, traders. Mindset shift today. Talking about a mindset shift. Um, one of the things that I had to really overcome was the desire to trade, to go to the screen and take trades. And I know that sounds kind of strange. And I know that there's going to be traders out there. There's always a few who don't like it. But my point, and I, I just had a few emails the last few days and got one this morning from a gentleman, a uh, lady, regarding a certain trade setup. And, and I talked about, you know, uh, asked them why they took it, if it was one of their best trade setups and the rationale behind that. And one of the things that I reiterated to this trader was you know, they were going long at the end of the three hour window in on the s p and i'm not critiquing any trades that traders take the questions that i asked though were was this one of your best trade setups and did you follow your rules so if your rules you got stopped out of break even and, and if your rules got you stopped out of break even and they're there to protect you and they're there to to keep you safe from doing damage but the point i was trying to emphasize to this trader was that retail goes to the screen and, and follows the movement of the market and then tries to trade it. The pros, the snipers, you know, people that are going to make, make money, real money out of the markets are stocking the markets for setups. Now I talked about the templates the last few days. Go to your daily charts, mark off your weekly highs and lows. Mark off daily levels, daily high and low levels where there's money. And I talk about this, where is the money? Those are levels that the market will move to on your weekly templates. Those weekly templates have three sessions in each day. I talk about this, three day setups, three session setups, three hour setups. Now some of the three hour setups are gonna be scalps. The three day setups are gonna offer fantastic opportunities. I talked about first red day. I talked about uh, three session high lows. Uh, those are moves that can high, high the week, low of the week. High the day, low of the day. Those are moves that will go unidirectional after the market has set up over the course of the day. It can be three sessions. It can be US, Asia, London. It can be uh, Asia, London, New York. It can be us asia london for a new york trade there's all kinds of combinations but it's about the setup in that template from the daily chart so my mindset shift came you know after a lot of painful learning so one of the things that i, I didn't say to this trader was that on a friday night go back and look at your charts on a friday night the likelihood of them moving the market after they've made their move is virtually very limited especially on a non-farm payrolls friday now go back and look at your charts they'll make a move and it appears that there's lots of movement in the market and then all of a sudden it just slows down and they will keep it in consolidation into the close of the market understand this they'll keep it in consolidation on a friday night into the close of the market go back and look at your charts what is the most common day for a gap so point being is that if you're trading that late in a session on a Friday on payrolls, you know, number one, is it, is it, a, is there a best trading setup in there that you're trying to trade? Or are you just there trying to get pips? You know, and that's what I, I reiterate. I'm, I'm not interested in pips. I'm looking for lock and load setups, maximize my opportunity, hammer that trade, hammer it. If it's a sizable one and get off the screen, lock it in, take the money and run like, that's it. That's all I'm looking for. I don't care about scalping pips. I really don't. And and, I'm, and the last thing I want to do is be sitting at the screen hoping it goes my way. Or sitting at the screen going to break even and getting nothing. You're not getting paid for going to work. So that's, that's you know, I, 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 I did that for years. I want to get paid. So understand all the different manipulation and tactics that are going to happen throughout the week. But build your playbook. You can print off any instrument and I'll show you a three-day setup from this week. There'll be one. Now, there's going to be some instruments where the setups are, are better. Like same, same setup, first red day, for example. Go back. There was three or four of them. Go back and look at the pairs. New Zealand dollar was a fantastic crystal clean textbook setup. Um, you know, 
last night I traded I traded oil. I, I had gold indexes short. I had oil yen long. I chose oil. Uh, it was a it, it worked out. It was a great trade. Was it the best trade? I don't know. Gold gold was a pretty clean setup, but I just didn't want to wait along right around too long. I didn't want to stay up. I knew payrolls was on the uh, schedule. Oil had come out of a weekly template targeting back to the high of the day as the, and the high of the week. I went with oil. It moved quite strongly. I felt that it was the least likely to react and build or consolidate heading into payrolls. It had a beautiful first hour trade and a second hour continuation after the New York Open. So these are all the things that require a mindset shift. I'm not interested in trying to like go to the screen every day and, and scalp moves. I'm looking for sizable trade setups that come out of these templates. That's how I can build my business, my trading account, and astronomically grow your trading profits. Seriously, go back and look at your charts and start to understand the importance of setups versus going there with technical analysis, trying to trade moves. It's just, you're going to struggle. You're going to end up doing things that will end in impulsive, irrational behavior. You'll build stuff up. You'll get caught. Like, go back and look at that S&P chart. If you're buying off the low, they'd already filled the gap from Thursday's breakout. But they could easily have just pinned right through that and went straight down into, into Thursday's range. So I'm not interested in trying to read charts and, you know, scalp moves i'm looking for setups where i can maximize my opportunity my time at the screen and i have zero or no, next to no stress i can have a tight stop and asymmetrical risk reward i want the market to move in my favor almost right away so timings setups keep it simple shift your mindset from trying to scalp pips that's retail and start focusing on being a sniper and maximizing your trade opportunities have a great weekend. Study your playbook. Review what you did well. Review, review what you could do better. Next week will be even more opportunities. We just had some killer markets. Keep it simple and may the markets go with you.